and this time to explain the recent search warrant that was released. So what I want to do here is go to the actual search warrant and look at the date, which is March 17th, 2017. It was little more than a month after the murders. That's important. We'll get to why. Um, I'm trying to think of the the guy's name that lives there. Logan, Ronald Logan. It was his property. So, first off, why why is there a search warrant being done on his property? Well, number one, the bodies were located there. Okay, so does that make him a suspect right off the bat? No, not not really especially since it's adjoining where they were but you don't know so as an investigator you got to cross every t and dot every i and what that means is we could get consent from this guy i bet he would give it go up to him hey this is what we found we need consent to search your property more than likely now i don't know this guy but in my training and my experience he would have said yes especially if he has nothing to do with it and I'll get into if what I believe at the end of this video but that can be challenged okay at trial and that's why I continue to say these investigators to me are doing everything the right way so now what do I mean it can be challenged well when it goes to trial, let's say it is this guy. The investigators don't know it. They're applying for a search warrant for the property. He probably gave consent. That's a guess. Um, but if you have probable cause to get a search warrant, that's foolproof. Okay? Then it can't be brought up. Well, he gave you consent. He was under duress. Now, what does that mean? Hey, they just came at me, a bunch of FBI agents, a bunch of police officers. I'm 76 years old or however old he is. I know he's older. And they said they found two dead bodies on my property. And I felt obligated that I had to say yes. I was under duress. It is possible that anything found, if anything was found, during that search warrant would be tossed by the judge. Therefore, you go the extra step to get a search warrant. Now, you have to have probable cause to get a search warrant. That's, that's what this is about. This is not him being a top-of-the-line suspect. From what I'm reading, he gave an alibi which was not true. So as an investigator, you were thinking right off the bat, He's got something to hide. Number one, okay, bodies found on his property. Number two, he lied about an, an alibi. Why would he do that if he wasn't involved in some way? Well, there's many reasons, but hey, as an investigator, we don't know. So let's build probable cause to get a search warrant. And I believe that's what happened. So, let's go into the document and read some excerpts from it. And I'm just going to go one by one and tell you what I think about it. The document was written by an FBI agent and describes what investigators found when they discovered the bodies of Abby and Libby on February 14, 2017. Quote, A large amount of blood was lost by the victims at the crime scene, the agents write. Because of the nature of the victims' wounds, it is nearly certain the perpetrator of the crime would have gotten blood on his person slash clothing. Okay, so let's look at that. First part, a large amount of blood was lost by the victims at the crime scene. That doesn't indicate stab wounds. That doesn't indicate gunshot. Um, it, it doesn't end, indicate anything other than what it says. Now, you can infer that it was a stabbing and you would probably be correct, but we don't know. A gunshot, you could lose a substantial amount of blood, right? But the second part of it, 
Because of the nature of the victim's wounds, it's nearly certain the perpetrator of the crime would have gotten blood on his or persons or clothing. Okay, so if it's a gunshot, I wouldn't expect to see that language. I would expect, and you certainly wouldn't expect to see it if it was a strangulation. You would expect to see it if it was a stabbing. So, I think you can infer by that it was a stabbing. Um, now, you know, I hate to nitpick on anything, and I'm not nitpicking, I guess, but I'm just saying what I would have done if I wrote the search warrant where it says I would have gotten blood on his person or clothing, I would have put his slash her. Because unless you know, you're, you're taking a guess that it's a guy. More than likely, it is. But you don't know that. So that's what I would have put there. But it's okay. The document says authorities also found that two articles of clothing from one of the girls was missing from the crime scene while the rest of their clothing was recovered. Let's stop there. That tells me that there is two pieces from one girl, which to me would mean if they were taking as a trophy, as a souvenir or such, that girl was the target and the other girl was not. Now that might be that might be playing a guessing game a little bit, and I don't want to do that, but that's what that tells me. Or they just didn't recover it. Um, but I think they probably did a decent search there after they found the bodies to look for evidence. So pieces of clothing gone. Um, I'd be curious to know what those two articles of clothing are. You know, my first guess is bra and underwear, but maybe not. Now, the second part of that quote is where things get interesting. It says, It has also appeared the girls' bodies were moved and staged. So let's go back to the previous statement where they said, A large amount of blood was lost by the victims at the crime scene. Now, what does that tell you? Well, it tells you they were killed right there. Okay? Right there. That's what it means. So, go back to this statement. The girls appeared, their bodies were moved and staged. All that means, in, in the simplest terms, when you're killed and your body's laid there, however it's laid, when it's moved or staged, one, they're going to be able to tell that it was moved through the natural leaves, the dirt, the surrounding area, where the blood has pulled, okay, compared to where the bodies are, if they were drugged. That's what it means by moved. Now, staged is different, okay? Staged is a specific act. And I explained this in the last video to make it look like something that it isn't or a signature. So let's say, let's say one of the, and this is just an example. Let's say one of the bodies was moved and propped up against a tree and her hands were folded like this. Let's just say, now you know she didn't die like that. Okay. So what is she staged like that now could that be a signature sure it could be but you don't know that yet all you know is the bodies were moved and staged so that tells me the bodies whether the legs are pulled open um whether I mean there, there's just so many possibilities of what staging it is could be but the bottom line of it is it's in an unnatural death pose hence staged